Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. So excited to be back again to talk to you about one of the most interesting rules that have been applied in terms of electrocyclic reactions. Now this involves two reagents, one which is hexatriene and the other one is cyclobutene. This one here we're going to focus on is the opening of a ring while in here the formation of a ring. Now, we are also going to take into account various rules that we've actually understood or taken, which is as follows. One, the Woodward Hoffman's rule, which focuses on two aspects, which is the superficial formation of bonds or looking at the anterofacial formation of bonds. Second one is also looking at how they actually rotate the bonds in terms of either a disrotatory process or a convertory process. So the relationship between those particular terms will actually help us to actually guide us through the formation of a ring in this particular step and in here the ring opening in here. Now let's start off with this first one which is the hexatrine. We do know hexatrine to have this particular chemical structure with six pi electrons and for this to have six pi electrons we do know that the six pi electron actually obeys the four q plus two rule and four q plus two rule was introduced by the Woodward Hoffman and in here it actually tells us that our q in here for six electron is equal to one. Now Q must be odd in this case and was Q which is an odd number of one then this actually tells us that the formation of our sigma bond which is as shown here this particular bond over here as a result of the circular addition reaction here The formation of the sigma bond is actually a dissociatory process. Why will I call it dissociatory process? Now, the dissociatory process actually comes into play when looking at the homo of our reagent over here. Now, the homo of our reagent, if I draw it over here, we have our molecular orbitals over here. And for our homo state, we do have two nodes, one here and one there, where we have this one shaded, then this shaded over here, but out of phase here, and in here out of phase, and we have that over there. Now, for a 6 pi state over here, which is this notation, if we perform a disrotatory process, what happens in here is that this bond will actually move, rotate in that direction inward and this bond will rotate inward in such a way that these colored portions will actually overlap with the one over here because they are both in phase in the same direction in here. So as a result of that, what we get is the formation of our sigma bond which is over there where we have our ring which is being formed over there so that's about it for this particular part over here and how we are able to actually form our product over there so take note that this particular process here is a disrotatory process in here because it obeys the pi 6 in the superficial pro um, process where these both here are actually in the same direction and they actually overlap since you're bending the bond inward in that particular step. So that's about it for this particular part. 
Now the second one is the ring opening reaction. Now this actually obeys a different way by which you can actually solve this particular part. Now let's take for example our cyclobutane as we look at in here is how uh, has this chemical structure where in here we just have a pi bond over there. Now take note that this has four electrons involved in the breaking of our bond. The breaking of our bond is actually this particular target bond over here and this target bond which is our sigma bond will go this way and in here you're going to have that that actually been that will occur in our four way to get to our target product which is what we have over here. Now take note that I said that this has four high electrons that are involved in here and why four? Why four is because the sigma bond has two electrons that are actually being used to form a pi bond and this pi bond reforms a pi bond over here and now this looking at it in the molecular orbital actually makes us to understand that first you need to know that this bond here must be the homo which is the breaking of this bond so if you assign this sigma bond which is over here to be the homo then the rest of the orbital that is not involved in the bond breaking is actually by default the lumo now for lumo we do have in phase or out of phase sorry with respect to each other over here while on the other side we have our in phase which is our molecular orbital overlap of our sigma bond where this here is shaded and for our 4 pi electron system we do recognize that it will obey the 4 R rule which is actually from the Woodward Hoffman and our R in here represents 1 because where the total pi electron in here equals to 4 then 4 divided by 4 equals to 1 so R must be odd in this case we actually conclude that this will perform a con rotatory process in before we are able to actually break our sigma bond so how does this come about so if you look at the molecular orbital we have this bond which is our sigma bond over here and in here we have our lumo where this is shaded and out of phase related to each other and in here we have our shaded point over there so now what we do is then to perform a coronary process because we have four pi electrons in total that, in, that is involved in the bond breaking in here then what happens here is that coronary is going in the same direction not going uh, one going left and the other one going right in this place both ends here are going in the same direction either on the left together or to the right now if we make it to go in the left which is going this way and that way what we have is a case where if this is shaded and that is not shaded which is in out of phase with respect to each other what we get is this shaded and that shaded so why these here are in phase with respect to each other these ones here are out of phase with respect to each other now you will recognize that if I go in the reverse direction to form this bond I go in a coronary process which is going this way and this way in such a way that the top will actually overlap with the tail and then they form sigma bond to go from there back to here and also take note that this here overall structure 
is the homo if you remember that the homo has just one node in here and if you want to form this bond then it actually works really well going from right back to left so this is what you need to understand in terms of our target process which is the electrocyclic reaction as how this relates to our constitutory process and distributory process connecting to our Woodward Hoffman rule and see you all on my next video thanks for watching please don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe and see you all on my next video be smart bye